In this video, we'll be talking about how to set up OneDrive and Google Drive, how to access those files within your AppStream session, and then we'll talk about saving files to OneDrive and Google Drive. To start off, we'll set up Google Drive. To do this, you'll want to click on this little folder icon in the top menu bar. You can see here there's this Add Storage button. So go ahead and click on Add Storage, and then you'll see our two cloud storage options here. Go ahead and select Google Drive, and then select Add SNC.edu. You may see that your account is already in the sign-in box that pops up. If it's not, though, you can go ahead and enter your email address, and then enter your account's password, too. After a successful authentication, you will see that Google Drive would like to have access to read and write files to your app stream session. So go ahead and click allow to do that. Now we'll talk about how to access files on Google Drive and how to save to Google Drive from various applications. So to access Google Drive, you can bring up File Explorer. It's the folder icon in the bottom of your window. So there's the start menu here, and then it's just three icons over. So click on File Explorer. Then you'll see this PC. There's a little arrow, down arrow next to this PC. Select that, and then you'll see Google Drive. Click on Google Drive, and you'll be able to see My Drive. If you double click on My Drive, then you'll see all the content within My Drive. If you have any shared drives that people have shared with you, then you'll be able to see those there as well. The process to save files from an application is just like it would be if you were trying to save something to a local computer. So I'll make a test file here. I'll just fill in a cell, call that cell test, and then we'll do a file save or a save as. And then in your save as, just select this browse option. And then you'll see Google Drive is here. And then within Google Drive, select my drive. And then you can name this file whatever you'd like to name it. So we can name it Assignment 1. And then we can click on Save. If you wanted to save something out of SPSS, we'll do something similar to what we did for Excel. So I'll just name this one cell Test. And then there's this Save button in the top left corner. And we'll name this something like SPSS Assignment 1. And then you'll want to click on this look in drop down arrow there, and you'll see Google Drive as an option. Select Google Drive, then select My Drive, and then click Save. To add OneDrive to AppStream, go ahead and click on the folder icon in the top menu bar up here. Then click Add Storage, select OneDrive then select add snc.edu. In this sign-in screen, type in your email address, then next. Then you'll be prompted for your password. Select sign in, and then you'll see that OneDrive would like to read from and write to AppStream. Go ahead and click on accept, and then you'll be able to use OneDrive in AppStream. To access files in your OneDrive, go ahead and click on File Explorer in your taskbar. Then go ahead and select the arrow next to this PC, and then you'll see OneDrive in there. You can click on that to open up and navigate your files. Generally, things in the Files folder will be things that you've uploaded yourself or that you've saved to OneDrive. Things that are in the Shared folder are files or folders that people have shared with you. To save files to OneDrive, we'll use Excel again as an example. Fill out your Excel file however you want. Again, we'll throw a test into this cell here, and we'll say File Save As, then Browse, and then you'll be able to select OneDrive, and then the Files folder, Rename this something like assignment one to XLSX. 
and now that file is saved up to OneDrive. To save a file out of SPSS, go ahead and enter any text into a cell, and then you'll be able to click on the Save icon in the top menu bar. And then near the top of the Save Data As window that just popped up, go ahead and click on the Look In drop-down menu, and then select OneDrive from that list of drop-down items. Then you'll be able to select the location within OneDrive that you would like to save the actual file to. 